Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at this node setup. Um, this is kind of like a proof of concept. It's not really like a completed yet. Basically, it's a some kind of medieval city, uh, whereas the map is actually um, being created and generated from this uh, Watabo IO. So I think I think this is the creator. And he made a lot of things, and but I found found out uh, about this map, uh, medieval fantasy city generator by accident. So basically, this is how this is how it looks, and let's see how we create this map. At some point, I have um, I have it. So, so that we can kind of just generate it and then export it out. Okay, as a PNG or SVG. And based on this, I think I pick up the medium one and I export, uh, export it out and to use it inside Blender. And in, in Blender, I'm using Svechok add-on, uh, Svechok nodes to generate, you know, just a simple extrusion. Uh, there's also this wall and, and the roads that I created everything using nodes um, so yeah let's just uh, take a look uh, quickly first of all with the wall there are a few different version that I created there's uh, this one using solidify basically um, basically I imported uh, the map as SVG right um, you need to go to user preferences, activate it, SVG, and then import the SVG, and you get all this bunch of curve that you can just load it into Spreadshop. So for the wall, of course, I pick up uh, the edges, and then this is the quick one uh, using Solidify. So the edges, I apply the matrix to the vertices, and then simply just extrude it out, and then solidify to get a thickness this is the easiest one but a more correct one is uh, this one in the middle this one I have the edges basically and then I have the offset and then I have the extrude uh, region the offset line is doing uh, the job of to to adding some kind of thickness but it's doing it from the center and then this is the extrusion for the wall um, you might see the wall is kind of very very basic it's, it doesn't have like a brick but there is a, like a brick node in scratch of that you can use uh, let me show it to you very very quickly so that's the brick if you want to do this more properly the the wall can be made of this brick so that's uh, something I can try at some point so that's for the detail and then we also have this uh, this part uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, if it's chest, is the is the rook. Um, this guy right here. This is actually quite interesting to create. It took me just a few minutes. Uh, let's zoom in on it. So this part is made of different section. First of all, the origin is actually just a circle. If you look at here, a uh, bunch of circle there, and I simply extrude it up so it's like a cylinder. And so this node is a bit long, but it, you can see I loaded all this uh, curve cylinder. I joined the triangle so it's become quad, and then I have limited this solve so it's become just a simple cylinder with a face. It probably can be simpler, but uh. When you load a curve, uh, it's, it tends to become like a triangular kind of uh, mesh. We don't want that, we just want a simple circle. We can actually do it differently and to avoid all this, but uh, don't worry. Just uh, to show you. And we have this height. And I think we can scale it also, but uh, keep it at 1. So cylinder get extruded and the top part of the cylinder, the circle, get extruded again. 
see all these operations there's this offset line also to create the ring and then I simply extrude up based on this uh, this guy right here I guess I don't I want to extrude some faces but I, I have to turn on and off some parts so we don't want to have like a the tooth but this is a good way to create like a teeth I don't know how to explain it but it's a it's kind of like a list of mask that we can turn on and off to get this teeth it's not perfect but uh it's an idea and then, then all these boxes I can give you an example because all these boxes have different material like for example this I'm selecting one of the curve and then shift L select an object with similar material so those get selected and I go up here and I will extrude it so select this with this guy being selected I simply group it control G and I'll select the group and reload now this guy is being extruded and yep so it's looking it's looking pretty good it's extruded you don't want it too high like there is no high-rise building in medieval but uh if you want to do that so ideally these extruded objects um can become a like a more like a house something like this although this looks kind of different in terms of design i don't know uh I haven't studied like a medieval uh, buildings how it looks like, but uh, it's I think it's worth studying. Um, in in theory, we can also build uh, the map using sphere chalk add-on, something like this. It's kind of nice. So the gate, okay, this is the harbor. This might be must be there's some kind of water. This actually have a lot of uh, detail if you look at it. the large scale map looking pretty realistic so this is pretty cool I actually like like it when the river pass the city this is a really cool city to build or maybe there's one with a forest or the mountain and that's gonna be looking more real so we have this perhaps this is like a like a water or of forest area but it could be just mountain as well uh, but you can see also there's this uh, this pathway I turn it into a river oh actually this is probably a river so all this thing if we select the material apparently they don't, they don't, they don't have material this one has material so I'll give it a different color so that's more realistic this is like water there's a river passing through okay that makes sense this guy should be like a river let's find our river water okay maybe this one it's simply just an offset of line so something like that There are two parts, I think. So there's the re river part and the other. Perhaps I should separate it. So this is not. This is not a river. So simply like like a road. So give it a different color. So let's try. Select object. And then select one of these 
Oh, well, I think there's like multiple lines as well. Oh, okay. So there's like multiple of the lines. Oh, well, I just grab. Gonna grab one. Turn it into river. Okay. A little bit better. That's probably like a gate to connect this guy anyhow you got the idea this is a a city is a fairly complex kind of model and it's got all these different parts um, but it makes quite sense once you look at it so you have to think about the area for the forest or the water and then the pathway and then there's buildings and also the this uh the wall castle okay i didn't think about the castle but a castle of course where the king's gonna reside. it's a very interesting model for study but anyhow you got the idea um you can probably make this better but this i'll give I'll share this uh, setup for you. Probably it's a good idea to kind of control J and then kind of group it, you know. So that's the pathway. This is for the brick, the brick wall. Um, but I, I usually didn't do that. All right. So hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.